Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of The Takeaway with me, your host, Munif Saza. And today is our special, special co-host, Melissa Gomez. How are you, Melissa? Hi, I'm wonderful. How about you? I'm so good. I can't wait to do some seller calls with you. I know, me too. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. It's it's a happy Friday for sure. It's an amazing Friday. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> hey Sam. <laughs> oh, is Sam here? Oh, hello, 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 Sam. I cannot wait to have you on Tuesday on the takeaway. Tuesday is Sam Day is on the dojo. Nice. Right. Cool. So Melissa, do you have some sellers for us? Um, ready to call? Yes, I do. Cool. Let's, let's dive right into it. I'm so excited. I, I we did a whole episode on like what foods not to eat because they have mold in them. What? Yeah, like there's certain foods that just like have mold in them, right? Like. like that's just a thing. That's just like a thing. There's just like mold in certain foods. And, what? Um, like peanuts have mold in them. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, and I was like, God. oh my God, this is so terrible. Oh my gosh. How could they? How could they? How could they? I, I had literally a whole just, of them last night. I just had a PB&J sandwich. Like I can't help myself. I'm like, all right, I think I'm just going to die early. Well, tonight. mold is tastes pretty goddamn good, I guess. Mold is really <laughs> tasty, but it will kill you. <laughs> Yes, uh, Sam says, yeah, I remember when you and me were doing seller calls, I told you Manif and Daniel were talking about corn syrup. Corn has mold in it. It's like a whole thing. There's like this whole science behind like, you know, all these molds and funguses and our food aren't really good for us. Mushrooms are good for us, but like there's certain foods that have like mold, um, which is a fungus, and they like, mm -hmm. they, they're slowly killing some people. Yeah. Should should I, should I stay away from peanuts then? or, or I, I mean, I know. You know, like, I, I mean, if you're, you know, some people are fine, but like some people might have mold, like severe mold allergies. Closer mentality says, Munif. Hi, Closer mentality. <laughs> awesome. Let, so remember, I'll, I'll give you tips and tricks in the, in the Ooh, chat. Can we do the notes? You like the notes Maybe? better? We can do the notes. Is that possible? Yeah, of course. That'd be, that'd be awesome. And then, I'm noticing that I could I could post comments now. Yeah, you sh you you've always actually had the ability to post comments. Okay. I believe. Oh no, you didn't. We made you an admin. Mm, okay. Remember? So that's why you can post comments. But you're posting comments as me. Ah, okay. Which is fine. I'm just letting you know it's, it looks like it's me posting them. So don't be fooled by Melissa, guys. It's her posting, <laughs> not me. Um, let's get let's get this going. Let, let me get the notes up. Um, how do I do this? Hi, Dale. What's up, Luigi? Uh, let's do new notes. Hold up. Hello, hello, hello. How do I do this? Oh, new oh. folder. How do you make new notes? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just op open like a Google Doc. Yes, let's do that. Google Doc will be better. Ah, this is my favorite Google Doc. It's my Airbnb SOP buy box criteria. So, <laughs> shameless plug. Yeah. Shameless plug. And, just put that on the screen. Right. and then we'll just write it here. So, um, let's Chrome tab, buy box criteria. Aha. Do you guys see that? Mm hmm. Oh, gosh. I put it, I made a full screen on my big monitor and it's like blinding me. Okay, great. You guys can see that, right? Yes, I can see that. Okay, amazing. So, <clears throat> notes for Melissa. Now, we'll just scroll. We'll just scroll down here. Can you read that? Uh, yes, I can read that. All right, let's get started. Melissa, make sure you 
deafen me so you're not hearing me. Um, mm -hmm. Melissa, don't change that. Don't press those buttons. Oh, my bad. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. I'll let you <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take away your admin control. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead and call. Make sure you can't hear me. Okay. And then, oh, is are you trying? Here, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it so you can actually read. How's that? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I see what you're trying to do. Perfect. Okay. All right. I'm going to mute you. Yes, mute me. Capt Fahim okay. says, "Would this and also be me, right? located on YouTube?" Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay. Um. Yeah, actually, Cap Fahim, is that is that? Are you Fahim Mahmoud? Are you F Ranger? Or are you a different Fahim? The answer is, um, yes. I will be putting these all on YouTube. Dale, what's up, man? CJ. Hi, um, this is Melissa. Uh, I'm looking for Alan. Uh, uh, Melissa, um, I'm actually calling about his property on Orange Drive. Um, can you call back in like half an hour? He's on the other line. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. sure. All right, we'll call him back in half an hour. I'll call back in half an hour. That's odd. It seems like we have his work phone. Hmm, that is weird. Okay, next one. Is there a... Jordicel, or is it Jordisi? Is it a Latin name, like an ancient Roman name? Jordisi. Well, that's freaking good. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get a deal. This is Melissa. How are you? Okay. Oh, um, I'm calling about your property on Hillsdale uh, Street. Uh, my my partner gave you a call and you had mentioned you're interested in selling. Just wanted to follow up and and see if you're uh, where you are in the process. I'm like yes, you know, I'm going I'm going to have a surgery and and after that I don't know yet. Okay, I, okay. I'm not ready yet. Thank you. Oh, I, ¿hablas en español? Sí, hablo. Para ah, okay. operar y no, 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 estoy, no estoy lista como para moverme a otro lugar todavía. Oh, wow. I'm te, fucking te, lost. Te, it's, uh, this, me this, contó this que no me van a operar en el tiempo. I can't dissect this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. ¿Y cuándo va a hacer eso? El 28 de este mes. El 28. Oh, my. Eh. El 28. Y me contaron que, que tenía un, un, otra oferta. ¿Lo va yeah, a aceptar? Ask her, ask her, ask her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Todavía no, no sé, mija. Ah, no, okay. no, estoy, no estoy lista todavía. Muchas gracias. ¿sí? No, está bien. Es, the tone. Está tone. bien si te puedo llamarte como en un mes. Yeah, she's the friendliness is there. Un mes, tal vez es que no estoy lista todavía. Gracias. Ok, listo. Gracias. Okay. Nope, but she's not doing it. It's not. It's not happening. I. It... Okay. So... <laughs> what happened? Sorry. I don't Sorry. speak Spanish. <laughs> she liked you a lot since you started speaking. Yeah, I, I had to like switch it up because she was gonna hang up, and I, I know. could kind of tell that she had a Spanish um, accent. Uh, but basically, uh, she said she's not. Um, She's not going to sell right now. She has a a surgery on oh. scheduled for the twenty eighth. Mm. Um, she has a hip surgery coming up, um, mm. and so she says she's more comfortable making decision after. And I asked her if I could call her back in her month, and she said, "Yeah, maybe a little longer than that." And I was like, "Okay, so I'll, I'm going to put it up for, you know, call her back in." A I month would. And a half. I, I would call her back in a month, actually. Okay. When, when's the surgery? Uh, when's the surgery scheduled? 
the 28th. Of this month? Yes. So call her like, call her like two weeks or a week after. after surgery and just be like, hey, and it's me, Melissa. We talk. Just speak to her in Spanish. Like, don't even do English, right? Just speak to her in Spanish. Say, hey, we talked. I, you know, we talked about the house. I'm not calling about the house. We'll talk about that later. We don't have to talk about it now. I just want to know how the surgery went. Are you okay? How okay. was it? Are you recovering? How are you? Da, 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 da. Are you doing physical therapy? Da, 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 da. And then go and just keep it short. Keep it five minutes or less. I'm, you know, I'm just, five minutes or less. That's it. Just check in on her. See how she is. Say, hey, I'm going to call you back, you know, in a couple weeks. And maybe if, if you want, we can talk about the house. If you don't want, no problem. And then hang up. Got it. Okay. I'm, I'm writing notes in the CRM. I love this. Tell her to do physical therapy. Yes. And if she needs to talk to a physical therapist who also speaks Spanish, we got the guy. Ralph, he's the guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's the guy. You just put her on the put. You're like, oh, I got. And then she's gonna be like, who is this white boy? And he'll start speaking Spanish, and she'll go, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And then she'll give you <laughs> tips and tricks on how to help her her knee or hip surgery or whatever. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I know that's like the first person I thought of. I'm like, oh my god, Ralph's in healthcare, and he and he Spanish. speaks Spanish. This, yeah, this would be a great one to tee up for him. Are we? Should we have um? We should open up a company called Ninja Medical. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Medical. And we will actually, um, it's for wounded ninjas. Wounded. Yeah. Oh, maybe we call it wounded, wounded ninjas. Ninja. Yeah. That's wounded so ninja. funny. All right. Let's go. Let's keep calling. Okay. All right. I love it. I love it. Close your mentality. Give her some exercises and Melissa will buy your house. That's so funny. Hello. We are not available now. Please. Joke is here. I love the double dial. I love the persistence. She is using her phone, Nelly. She is using her phone. This is what we do. We've got these phones. We use them. It's amazing. We don't even use Google Voice, personally. Hello. We are not available now. Please leave. Triple I get dial. Oh, amazing. I get text alerts from myself. It's amazing. If you guys are not, let me know in the comments if you're not getting text alerts from Twitch. Let me know in the comments if you're not getting SMS alerts about the Twitch. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number. Okay. Slatty man. Moving on to the next one. I love one. your chat with the sunglasses. I freaking love that. Tyra is getting the text alerts. Amazing, amazing. Oh, no, no SMS. Oh, my goodness. No SMS, Mark. You don't have, you're not getting text alerts, man. Here, I got you. I got you, Mark. Okay. Next David Sporadic. One. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. You know, did you know the auto Munif is actually me? All right, moving on. So the auto Munif is me. I actually text. It just I just text it. I don't have to copy paste it to a gazillion contacts. 
I just send, I, I go in the app and I text it and it sends it to everybody. So that's actually me. It's not a, it's not a bot. I'm getting all the alerts. How can I get SMS notification? I have email notification. All right. I'm going to yeah. tell you. Oh. Hi, Shirley. This is Melissa. How are you? I'm fine. What's your question? Hey, I'm calling about your property on Julian Lane. Uh, looks like you spoke with someone on my team about potential selling. Yeah, and he's not interested in cash offer. And I have, I'll probably find my own realtors. But thank you anyway. Bye bye. No, yeah, no problem. Hey, hey, who submitted that unmotivated lead? Hey, Melissa. That was quick. <laughs> Melissa. Melissa. Yes. Yes. Okay. Who's who submitted that unmotivated seller? Um. Uh. Mark. Mark. We have we, we have multiple marks. Hold on. Okay. Well, we'll find yeah. him. Okay. Make a note. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna karate chop him. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. Oh, he's a new JV There's... partner. Never mind. No, no, no. We're gonna lovingly karate chop him then. <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly. <laughs> Got yeah, it. It's not, it's not Mark McCrimmon. That's for sure. Okay. okay. 9571931277. For that one, would you. Um... She, she That lady saved us both hours of phone calls. Okay. Okay. She's, yeah, so she's just, so good. I'm so thankful. For her does she okay legitimate i'm so thankful for her because she saved us hours of time okay now yeah i always like like whenever it ends too quickly like i always wonder if there was like no 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 they're, they're actually to, like, they're, they're actually me? giving you money when they do that okay. because if somebody's stealing your time they're actually stealing your money and if somebody's giving you back more time that you would have spent on nothing they're actually giving you money so she she i love her she gave us so much money Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. my notes real quick. I wish everybody who it's was just not, like straight. Yeah, was okay. not who is not serious about doing business with us would just tell us that like, oh yeah, I'm not your customer or I'm not a good customer or partner or whatever for you. Sorry, bye. Gosh, we would save and make so much more money. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Not like I'm learning more and more, like, yeah, how to DQ, you know, like disqualify. Cause, you know, in the beginning, oh, you're always nervous to us. disqualify. You're like, like she yeah. did it for us. She did our job. <laughs> she was amazing. I love okay, her. Perfect. She's this like, cause so she's better. like, she's like, I'm not interested in creative. And, and I'm getting a realtor, right? And we, should, you know, ideally, as a before that submitted to us, the person who's who goes and gets the lead figures out if this person should list it or not. That's like one of our jobs is to figure out, Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you selling it to us? Why aren't you listing it? And if they have a legitimate reason they're not listing it, then like push them to list it because they're going to do it anyways. They're going to do it. Like somebody, they're going to talk to their aunt or their neighbor and, the, and whatever, and their or a realtor. And if they should right list it, they're, they're going to end up wasting nine, 10 hours of your, of your time over the course of multiple follow-ups and then list it and you're going to go, well, what, what were we doing here? Right. Uh, yeah. Our job is never to convince somebody not to list their house. It's to help the people who can't. Got it. 10, four. All right. Moving on to the next. Yeah, exactly. Slatty man. That's exactly right. Absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, we are deal finders. We are not deal creators. It is free money. And thank you. I love... I love that. Uh, yeah, I love looking at it with, with that. When something doesn't work out, I'm just like, nice, amazing. Next, 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 next. Hungry sellers only. I mean, metaphorically, hopefully not literally, but yes, hungry. 
maybe unless unless the closing comes with a sandwich, then they can be literally hungry. We will buy your house for fifty thousand dollars and two sandwiches with a side of chips. Mooney Sergio. This is my number for alerts. So if you're not getting SMS alerts, and I'll get a text and I'll say yes. So let's see. Okay, Mark. Oh, it's not Munifa. I actually get your text and I actually respond to your text. Sup, bro? Sup, bro? That's actually me texting you guys. Hi, you reached the Doshi resident. Sorry, we're not available right now. The, the community app just lets me text multiple people without having to make a group thread. Have you ever done the thing where you like make a giant group thread to say something and there are all these people in one thread? Yeah, that's horrible. We're never doing that. That's, that's horrible. Because you get people just like writing and then everyone gets yeah, that. So the app lets me text multiple people individually. Maybe she should intro with Spanish and switch to English. Like, hola. Um, I don't know Spanish, but like, hola. Triple amigo. down. Uh, I, you know, and then ask if they're selling. And they're going to go like, what? Habla inglés? And then I'll go, yeah, I speak English. And then she goes in English. And then she goes, <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm Melissa. How are you? And then they're going to be like shocked. They're like, you speak English. Yeah, well, you want to sell your house? And like, oh, yeah, you, yeah, I do. <laughs> Is that what? Hola, how do you say that? Curieres? Curieres? Oh, I think it's because she was there. Sorry, we're not available right now. Curieres? Do you really? Curieres? Vender? Or is it vendir? Triple down. Moving on. No roll. Hola, curieres? Curieres? Vender? casa i'm gonna learn that i'm gonna learn that you teach me spanish bro i just want to be able to close a deal in spanish that you know what before i turn 30 i want to close a deal in spanish oh man everyone's giving me everyone's teaching me spanish here this is me quieres quieres no but no rules so quieres 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 is it quieres or quieres Hola, mi amor, y está, estoy lama, no, llamando para ver si le interesa vender su casa en 123 Main Street. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Get up, Ralph, for the Spanish script. The first one you did was perfect. I'm just rolling with the Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, that's 123. Bro, you're actually really good. No, I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Munif? Huh? Hola, ¿cómo estás? No, no. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Munif? Yeah? Yeah, bueno. You're a natural. I, I am bilingual. Enter your remote access code. I speak Bengali. So I don't speak Spanish. But so I can throw in an accent. I speak a language. I can do that, but I don't even know hmm. what I'm saying. I don't know what that is. Triple dialing. Vamos a crear más ven vendedores. I don't know what that means. Ven Vamos pues. Are you guys making me say weird stuff in Spanish? Please don't make me say weird stuff in Spanish. Oh, let's close more sellers. We're going to need more. Well, Brian, we got Brian, Melissa, and um, Ralph. That's three Spanish speakers. Say your V's like B's. Say your V's. Oh, like vamos. Like, like vamos or vamos? Vamos. Vamos. Is it vamos? Munif es un querador. It's a like in Latin. I took Latin. It's, it's querador in Latin. But in Spanish, I wonder if it's Because Latin, all the C's are hard C's. Yeah. 
this is the real mo move. So if they're Spanish, go, oh, 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 uno momento. And then I put like. For your remote Spanish. access code. I am, I am Spanish, but I have not closed. What does that mean? Spanish. So. Yeah, screw it, triple dialing. So. That's cool. This is the last one in the get you there. Ralph actually closed the deal in Spanish. Um, he actually closed the deal in Spanish. It was amazing. And he translated the transaction. Okay. Close. That is freaking flex, bro. That was my first seller finance in Spanish. That's a flex. And then my follow-up question is, how come you didn't sell it to me so I can turn it into an Airbnb? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. Oh, I can communicate to Melissa. Hi, my name is Munif in Spanish. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll say we'll say. Enter your remote access code. Spanish, and then we'll say what do we want to say? Um, get on What's the my access code. Call seller. Yeah, which time. is that is that right which my spanish speakers on twitch i want to say Perfect. get on the phone with the real seller keep dialing yeah. Melissa. Okay. don't don't Down stop the way. <laughs> don't I'm this is the job, right? Sometimes you just dial, 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 dial. Mm -hmm. Hey, Twitch, can you proofread the Spanish speakers of Twitch? Can you proofread what I just wrote? Does that make sense? I don't know if Google Translate really works. It does. Okay. Hell yeah. Thank you, Slatty Man. It works. Okay. 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 Here. Bam. Hello. Hi, Donald. This is Melissa. How are you? I'm right. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm actually calling about your property on Loop uh, Boulevard. I spoke with someone on my team about potentially selling it. I just wanted to follow up to see if that's still the case. Uh, I'm not sure if the wife wants to sell it yet or not. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, what's holding you guys back? Huh? What's holding you guys back? Uh, a job opportunity in Arizona. Oh, nice. Awesome. Is is that coming up soon? I'm um, hoping. Hope, oh, are you, are you kind of waiting to hear an answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Because yeah, it's through the military, so I got to wait on it. Yeah. Oh, no, you, oh, you serve in the military? Excuse me? You serve in the military? Yeah, I did a long time ago, but I'm, now I just work on base. Gotcha, mm. gotcha. Well, thank thank you for your service. Uh, very no much problem. appreciate that. So let me ask you this. If, if you do get a yes uh, to that job in Arizona, um, is that kind of the last thing you're waiting on to then sell? Yeah. Okay. And then um, roughly around, do you know when you would get an answer for that? Honestly, no. be honest. Mm -hmm. It could be a couple weeks. It could be a couple months. It's uh, it's always hard to wait with the military. Yeah, no, I hear you. I I I had a cousin that worked in the military as well, and that was kind of yeah. that. That was just kind of the 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 lifestyle of it. Okay. Um. Well. Um. Well, I, I'd like to get to 
know a little bit more about the property. Do you mind telling me um, about the condition, kind of what it's like right now? Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, just if you don't mind letting me know the overall condition of the property. Ooh, that's a good one, Sergio. Uh, I just need to clean it up. I've already had it appraised, so. Oh, nice. What did it appraise for? Uh, um, almost 300 I think it was 298 298 Gotcha. And is there, uh, is there, I don't, I don't really care about the little stuff like paint chipping off, but it, is there any like major issues like I should, I should know if I were to move in tomorrow or something like that? No, I mean, I'm doing, I want to, I'd like to redo the kitchen. That's it. I've already put a whole new HVAC. We put a whole new HVAC. I have no idea what my notes say. I'm just throwing them in the Google Translate, hoping Melissa can read it. This is the only way I can redo the the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you planning to redo the kitchen and then settle on the market for more? Or uh, what's the reason Uh behind it? Uh, Like I said, they already appraised it as it is, so... Mm -hmm. I do the kitchen, I may ask a little more, yeah. And then if, you know, an offer comes in that my wife and I like. Mm, and and what what offer are you looking for? Mm. Well, like I said, I praise it, 298, so I want to get around there. Around there. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, why, why not just sell it on the market? Oh, I can sell it on the market, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I just want to be upfront and honest with you. Um, you know, I, I, I'm coming to you as a flipper, but in all honesty, the best person to purchase your house is mm. a family that's going to live in it. Um, so mm-hmm. if so, I, I would recommend, you know, go on the market. Um, do you need help finding a realtor? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, once, I, uh, once we decide what we're going to do, we'll go from there. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, well, we don't know what we're doing yet. I hear you. I hear you. Um, and, and, and how fast would you need to sell once you get that yes from Arizona? Um, I don't know, within a month. Okay. Ooh, that's fast. Awesome. That's, that's fast. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we typically close um, in like 30 days or less on our properties. Um, right. and, and we do a cash offer and we will, we take care of the closing costs and inspection fees and, um, and all of that stuff. So, um, how about this? Um, I know right now you and your wife are still waiting from that, from that. Yes. From Arizona. Um, mm-hmm. if, if you don't get a yes, you know, from that job in Arizona, um, are you guys just going to stay there? Is that kind of the plan? Uh, yeah, most likely. Yes, ma'am. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you know, let's, like you said, let's we decide to go to Arizona, and I just get a job anyway somewhere else and go from there. Oh, are are you just trying to get out get out of the town you're you're currently in? Is that the goal? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of California, go back to Arizona. <laughs> yeah, not not too happy with California anymore. No, I've been here for twenty years, so my wife's been here longer than that so oh wow gotcha okay so it sounds like regardless um of the arizona job saying yes or no you're still kind of looking to to leave california in in other oh yeah okay gotcha uh well how about this you know uh thank you for picking up um i'd love to follow up with you in a month or so uh, just to see how that's going, and also just to see if the if the market is treating you well. You know, like I said, right. going on the market is your best bet. And if something goes sideways, um, maybe you don't like working with realtors, or people are nickel and diming you to add stuff to the property. Uh, love to check up on you and be your back pocket option um, as a cash. Right, yeah, like I said, I got my neighbor across to just sold his place for three fifteen. The neighbor next door to us is selling his for three fifteen. So <laughs> nice. Is um, are, are those houses in the similar condition as yours? Yeah, except I we've got a we 
we put a wall around the front of ours, you know, like a courtyard. And then we've got boulders out front. So, yeah, it's, we've done some landscaping, got a waterfall. and Oh, that sounds pretty. Nice. Yeah, just got to clean it up and, you know, <laughs> just do some maintenance and that's it. Okay, gotcha. No, oh, yeah, it, it, it sounds very pretty. Um, you're describing it. Okay, so I, I know there's a lot more thinking to do um, with, you know, with your wife and the job in Arizona. I'll, I'll follow up with you in about a month or so. Um, how's that sound? All right. That'll work. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Donald, for taking the time. Um, oh, I do want to ask one more question. Sorry. Um, by any chance, are you selling any other properties at this time? Mm. What a great question. No, man, that's the only property I have. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. My wife and I have this one, and my brother who passed away, he has one off of my Mendeboro. Oh, your brother, is, does he need help selling that one? No, no, he passed away, Melissa. He passed I away. don't know what his uh, wife's going to do, because like I said, my brother my brother passed away. So. Oh, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. It, yeah, so I mean, I know that house is probably going to sell for four, you know. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a big house. Do you think she would be interested in a cash offer? Uh, possible. Hmm. Um, would it be all right if I reached out to her and just chatted with her? Um, yeah, I don't know if they st if their phone's still connected. So. Hmm. Gotcha. Well, um, I'll give it a ring and see if we could help her out. And if not, no big okay. deal. May I have her number, right. please? Um, the seven six zero three seven three. Muted her to protect the identity of the seller's sister-in-law. Uh, the address off the. Top. All right, I'm protecting their 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 information. In the meantime, how are you, Twitch? How's it going? How's your day? Happy Friday. Happy freaking Friday. Who's got who's got plans for Friday night? Let me know in the chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is everything going on? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, really appreciate you taking the time um, uh, to pick up the call. Um, I'll follow up with you in a month, and let me see if I could help out your sister-in-law as well. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Have okay. a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Melissa. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. Okay. <laughs> I saw you... I saw you muted me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, because because you're you saying guys are... too much stuff. <laughs> saying, well, yeah, well, no, 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 that that no, 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 that was good. I just he's giving you the phone number and the address. Yeah, I wanted to mute it just so people don't harass the sister and stuff because a lot I of these you. videos might be going on YouTube and all that stuff. I want to protect people's privacy. Um, okay. So so um, question. Yes. Question. Uh hmm. So what was your take on that call? Um, it's uh, probably not going to be like a, an, uh, something for an investor. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. it, it sounds like he's already like planning to go on the market. And uh, my logic is if a seller already has it in mind, you should just let them go through that market route yep. to experience them themselves. Um, yeah. So this is not a follow up. I would do mm -hmm. personally. I would have a lead manager follow up with this lead just to check in, right? The the woman who with the hip, you know, maybe you have a little bit more rapport. You can follow up. You can do those, but I personally just don't do follow ups. I, I'm the t most. I'm the worst at follow ups. Not my job. I close deals, so I ask somebody else to do the follow up and have all that amazing rapport. And then and when the the seller is ready to be closed, I close them. But um, you have to make those choices for yourself. I just think that this one, I would not be spending, you know, another minute on the phone with them. Now the sister who, you know, or his, 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 his sister-in-law, right. The wife of his late brother, she, she basically not inherited the house or it's her house now. Right. So t 
typically, typically, they still list those, right? Now, mm-hmm. if it, it's a parent, it's out of state, um, you know, usually, you know, you can sell those for cash. But typically, somebody who's in that situation will still list it because the wife's able to just get a realtor. Maybe um, the realtor recommends some handymen or some people to repair the house, and they they do it, and they, but. I think that's still a good potential prospect, right? That's still that was really good prospecting because it is like a free prospect, right? Like you didn't have to pay for that. Um, so I think it's worth the reach out and call just to see. Um, so I really like that because I personally wouldn't have done that, but now it's like that could make us money, right? I wouldn't have done it just because I'm focusing so much on the next call that we have in our system. But I really love that question because now you're making the most right you're making you could ask a simple it didn't cost you anything to ask them that and now you got a prospect for free so i really i really think that was awesome yeah Yeah. that's great and got a potential opportunity out of it that's amazing and yeah it depends on his financial situation after his death totally 100 percent. that's why it's worth the call on average eh, do i think that it might work out probably not but it's still worth it because it might Mm -hmm. right doesn't cost us anything to have that phone call except a little bit of time, five minutes or less, just to make that phone call. Mm-hmm. Should, should I call her? You want to, you can, that's cool. Yeah. Call her right now. That's a, a, do you yeah. like my instructions to you in Spanish? <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to, to read them all. Oh. So you were just weren't reading them. I it was the only way I could communicate I- with you. <laughs> I saw I saw people were were complimenting you on your Spanish. I was like, oh, I'm missing out on on his beautiful Spanish. Oh, I was I was Someone just like, you're a natural. So I was just spitting game, right? Spitting game, spitting, <laughs> spitting that Hispanic game with good stream. You got that rico suave papi vibe. I don't know. Like, so <laughs> I was like, hola, muy bien, and they're like, oh, wow. He's so good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't don't just biblioteca. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but but you know, um, so we're we're gonna actually part of the stream, I think, going forward will be Spanish lessons for me. <laughs> Spanish lessons. If you're licensed, you could refer him to a realtor, make a referral fee. You can actually still get a referral fee from realtors without being licensed. There's a way to do it. Um come to my four PM class and i'll tell you there just kidding just joking. We're <laughs> a full game class. um hope everyone's having a great friday yeah me too All right. he has no idea where the library is what does that even mean yes <laughs> what does that even mean Donde está la biblioteca? oh matt you speak spanish what <laughs> how does matt know what that means? <laughs> How did you know? Did you take Spanish? How do you know what she said? <laughs> Donde es? So Donde es? Um, that's where is. Donde es Munif? Donde okay. esta Munif? Donde esta Munif? How does Pat speak Spanish? You're. How do you know Spanish? Okay. Just quickly want to like see what the pops up when color I son las magnas del chaleco blanco de Napoleon. That's a sandwich. Napoleon <laughs> got to be a sandwich or a pizza. I almost minored Spanish in college, but I don't know enough anymore to get by. Jesus, man. That's crazy. I didn't know that. But you know where the library is, so that's a lot more than me. <laughs> okay. It's okay. like there's a whole other language that half the country speaks that I know nothing about. Oh, Mendy Borough. <clears throat> Mendy. Okay. I. I found the f- uh, the phone number matches the address on on True People Search. Just wanted to- you True People Search this person. Nice. <laughs> I would have just called. I would have just, just called. I would. What's her name? Uh, 
I didn't catch your name, but we're just gonna roll with it. I love it. I, okay. I know, Hi, I know Melissa. What's your name again? I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 fuck it we're just going with we're it. going to fuck it we're, we're live we're doing it let's do it <laughs> all right let's do this hola mi gente como están todos <laughs> <laughs> that's it right i fucking nailed it didn't i that's it i love it but the the g is like is like an h sound so gente, gente. oh my gente. god why do you why do you write why do you no, know but you other know? than that, you like. Hola, it, it mi gente. Sounded... ¿Cómo están todos? <laughs> Vámonos. Andale, andale. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this I is, love it. This is the right thing. Just say, oh, no, I'm not doing the accent. I can't do the accent and say something in English. That's just racist. Just say you spoke with his brother in law about her house. <laughs> Hola, mi gente. <laughs> what is gente? What does that word mean? I now I'm like, what? <laughs> I have to Google this. Hola, mi gente. You have reached 760-373-3845. Please leave your name and number and we'll call you back. Oh, hi, my people. I'm sorry, the person you were... Hmm. Who is telling people? Two more dials. Who is telling people I'm flying down to Pace's event on Sunday? Harvey, are you spreading rumors or is somebody spreading rumors that I'm going to be flying to Pace's event on Sunday? <laughs> Gente is people. Hello, my people. <laughs> Wait, what does this mean? What about what? Como están todos? Now I have to Google what that means. Uh, you guys are just making me say shit at this point. Como están Translate. You have reached 760 Oh, how is everybody? Oh. Please leave your name and number and we'll call you that's, back. That's so nice. That's how I should start the takeaway every okay, single one time. More. Just one more time. You know, yeah, no, the, you planning know. seeds. I'm <laughs> sorry, the person I you might. are trying to reach has a voicemail <laughs> box that has not been set I'm, up I might, yet. I might Please try back. your call again later. Goodbye. I don't have any more PTO days. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. Should I fly out? I'm down. Okay. That was quicker. Wait, do I have shit okay. to do on Sunday? I'll take like a red eye or something. All right. Um, Maybe I should. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me just update the notes with the new potential, and then we'll move on. Maybe I should what state am i in i am in virginia well now now that makes me want to fly out when you say i won't fly out matt it just makes me want it's like it's like that second grade when you're in like the second grade and you're like you won't do it and like yeah i will yeah it's the same thing but it's so easy to bait me it's so easy to bait me because like it makes me want to do it now because you said i won't do it like i I really want to do it now It's, it's so easy to bait me to do stuff it's actually like child's play to bait me to do stuff. One more, Melissa. I double dog dare you. No, <laughs> double dog dare. Do fly out and see us. Oh, man, I might. There you go. I'll see you there. <clears throat> oh, fuck. How do I say this? Soy our dinero. This is, you can't ask me to say this. This is too hard. This this has a lot of eyes and bits. You have reached 760 373 3845. Please leave your name and number and we'll call you back. What the hell? What is that word? Hi, this is Melissa. Um, I got your contact info from Donald uh, Nalt. Um, he had mentioned to me that you that at the moment you're potentially selling your uh, property on Minjor Borough. Um, and I'm a local oh flipping my God. area looking to pick up some houses um, right around there in California City. So just wanted to reach out to see um, if I could potentially help out um, your situation. So funny. Um, if you want, you can give me a call back. My phone number is 661-755-0557. That's Thank so you. funny, Bye-bye. Anthony. You fucking killed me. That was hilarious. Berhinya. 
Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> hey, hey, this. What is that word, Melissa? Virginia. Yeah. It's pronounced Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how you say it. Oh, Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia. <laughs> I was like racking my brain. I was like, where, what word? I'm like going through, and he's like, it's Virginia pronounced in Spanish. Virginia, yeah, yeah, Virginia. Virginia. That is, I died. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, I wish we get a seller. We're almost at three o'clock. I know. This was just like Spanish lessons with Munif. Like this was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. I got. Okay. Let's see who's. Do you have any more? Get any new ones? New ones going down, going down the line. Joseph Benita Fernando. Andale, Melissa. Andale. I know. I'm andaling. Andaling. <laughs> Andale. <Excuse me. laughs> yeah. That, that, yeah. That 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 was a uh, an American accent. So I know. Copy and, that. <laughs> for favor. For favor. Muchos Garcias. <laughs> Garcias. Oh no. Okay, that was actually the last one. Um, let me see if anyone else has some unclaimed leads. Needed after a long week. Me too, yo. Me too. <laughs> Muchos Garcias. Gin C S E O ninety one. Muchos Garcias, por favor. Andale. Okay. I'll call this one. I found, I think I found one. Let's call him. Let's do it. Get those unclaimed leads, Melissa. Here, Melissa actually doesn't understand what you're saying, Matt. Let me. Let me help her out here. Hold on. Get those unclaimed leads. All right. Let me help you out here. Now she will understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> Peace does not exist. Like Thank you. <laughs> I understand now. Okay. I have 711 followers. Thanks for calling 84 I can't get to the phone right now, but if you leave it. I have 711 followers on Twitch, which is, I think, I think Twitch is trying to say something. Thank you. Come again. Daniel here. How can I help? Hi, Daniel. My name is Melissa. How are you? Um. Still waiting for an answer for my question, so I guess I'm in suspense, Melissa. <laughs> well, sorry, just uh, my bad. I'll cut to the chase. Uh, my my partner had called you about Almond Street, and I was just following up to see if um, you're still interested in selling. That was a really, really uh, good no, Not really. Oh, okay. Who gotcha. was sending us? You know, maybe asking, uh, did something change your mind, or the market didn't work out for you? Oh, I don't know. I just, I don't know many wealthy people, but I assume that they don't sell the only property they have and spend their money at Walmart. Oh, gotcha. So you, just, you just didn't find the price you were looking for? No, no. I'm saying I don't want your money because then I'll go spend it at Walmart. I, oh. I don't, thank you. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Is that such a bad thing? She's having What's fun. That? Spending money at Walmart? Yeah. In lieu of owning real property, I don't know. I'm I'm just not in the in a position. I've got like seven people I'm managing right now. I'm sure you can figure that one out for yourself, Melissa. Have a wonderful day. 
Yeah, no worries, no worries. Thanks for picking up. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye-bye. So that was that, that was I on. loved I loved how you handled that because you made it very light and fun. But this is what this is why we vet our lead. So who sent that lead? Because we asked our JV partners to qualify and vet. Yeah. Say Donna. Say Donna. Oh, I'm not I'm not surprised. I think we have to have a conversation <laughs> with some of our JV partners. <laughs> <laughs> JV partners, we love you. We love you. Okay, we're we not love here today. <laughs> We love you. Let, but let, we, us, we, let us hold your hand. We we'll, need to hold your hand sometimes. Yes. <laughs> we need to hold your hand sometimes. Because Which is totally fine. We're closer. No, no, no. It's fine. I mean, it was, uh -huh. it, was it was hilarious. But that's not elite. Like, what? He has no – he doesn't want to take that call. We don't want to call people who don't. Now, if we were cold calling, that's different. That's, mm -hmm. like, all you get when you cold call. So, say I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cold calls. I've actually had a dialer – I used to have a dialer and it would just dial and I just cold call and it's people like that. It's that's mm -hmm. all we're doing. Right. And it, it's like, you just have conversations like that over and over. And then you got the one guy who's like curious and then you're like, Woo, I got a lead. Right. But then even then they're not really a qualified lead. Right. So cold mm -hmm. calling is just like picking weeds with your bare hands in a farm. <clears throat> right. Which is fine, but it's not highest and best use. For us as closers, it's just not, right? So we don't cold call anymore. Obviously, you know that. I know that. I'm telling Twitch, we don't cold call anymore. We have other people who cold call. We don't even take the leads from the cold callers anymore. We actually have people who, before they submit the leads to us, they need to vet their leads. They need to call the sellers and really make sure that they're qualified leads. And then we can close those deals, right? So um, we, you know... This is good stuff because it shows, and, and that's why I always ask, like, who was that? Because I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for names that might be newer or the investors are newer. Um, but if it's somebody, let's say, who's seasoned, right? Like, for example, Luke is very seasoned. I'd be surprised. I'd be like, what? How? What happened? Right? But if it's a newer investor or, or you know, um, somebody who doesn't is not a seasoned, now I know. Hey, we need some hand holding. Right. We need we need a little bit of hand holding. Mm -hmm. So um cool. Yeah, and, and if there's um if there's JV partners here listening, you know, uh we're trying to be very more involved in helping you guys out. Um, like Matt, um, our integrator, our senior integrator, um, in the past he's had like Zooms where he like teaches JV partners how to SMS campaign. Yeah. Right. Or even like what templates to use, like what to say. So you're like, you're not on your own when you like sign up with us. Like we, we like, we, we want to help you out um, every step of the way. Um, and myself as well. So we're and doing, so our company for our, just for our JV partners, we're doing town hall meetings twice a month. So two town halls a month. And they will happen basically 24 times a year. And I'm getting different guest speakers into these, these private events, these town hall meetings. They're not, we're not making any money. We're not charging anything like that. It's just for our JV partners to level up. That's it. Because if we help you generate higher quality leads, which will turn into money, if we help you make more money, we in turn make more money. So I'm organizing these town halls uh, twice a month to level up our JV partners for them to understand, you know, how to market better, what are good areas to market in, how to pull excellent lists, how to pull niche lists, how to track your key performance indicators. Um, and I'm getting different guest speakers to come in and do, do a demo or a presentation to, or like an education. And then what we do is we show we're tracking all our JV partners, KPIs, and we as Ninja do a, um, a, a presentation of, Hey, here are top JV partners. Here's their performance. Here's how much money they're making a week on average, or here's how much, how many deals are they're getting locked up on average. Um, and here are some of their baseline metrics. So then you, as say you're a JV partner and you're like, Whoa, what, what's going on? You can see the success backed by data and go, Oh, okay. I know I to do this, or I know to do that. So we're doing those town halls. I'm going to start them. Um, it's going to start the, the, they're going to be the first and third weeks of February, right, Melissa? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. first and third week. And we'll definitely, um, yeah, kind of like Munif said, we'd like to be transparent, mm -hmm. you know, with KPIs. And, you know, and like Munif said, we'll, we'll showcase the JV partners that are doing really well, get their, pick their brain mm -hmm. and get their insights, how they're doing things. 
if you're cold calling, if you if you have VAs or cold calling or yourself, um, an awesome thing. If you're doing that, usually dialers already have like a recorded feature. Um, one of our best JV partners, he adds in the yes. VA recordings. Yeah, that looks like so much to get to know. We close um, like two deals a week for this guy. He quit his yeah. full time job because we were making him so much money. Mm -hmm. So um, what I think what um, so the, the the format really for these town halls I want to do for us is the the first you know the first third of it is the presentation from the guest speaker. The second third of it is um, you know, us showing the KPIs or the key performance indicators for our best performing partners. And then the last third is just Q and a between each other, right? Like just any kind of, we're going to raise hands and do Q and A's. So, cause it's going to spark brain activity and questions and answers. And we'll just do a Q and a format. And at the end of it, we're just going to let everybody go. But then if anyone wants to stay back and have any discussions or go into breakout rooms, we'll, we'll let them do that too. I'm really excited about these times. Anyway, so that's enough those. about that. That's enough about that. Um, <laughs> Melissa, how do you feel? Um, um, I feel I feel like we got one solid call, um, and then there was the Spanish call yes. that was like quick. Um, but hey, I mean, we got someone. I but yeah, I loved it. I learned so much Spanish today. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think cool. I think you should. I, I feel like you have it in you to be a Spanish closer. I don't. Know, I see it. Just a, just a little bit more Google Translate. And uh, uh, like esas cosas no reclamandas, Melissa. <laughs> Did I do it right? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll work, we'll, 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 we'll work on that offline. We'll a work bit, on but, it. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Can you imagine me just just? <laughs> <laughs> no comprende. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. Um, I saw Ralph is in here. Um, I thought it'd be really cool. I know like some sub two folks were talking about it, but like maybe com like compiling some some good like Spanish one liners. Um, Ooh, that'd be dope. Maybe like a script or or I don't like or or how to like pitch terms in Spanish, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Right, because you could go on Google Translate and directly, you know, get the literal translation. But but sometimes you you may need to swap other words just so it makes sense uh, for that person. So I mean, like, would would people on here get value out of that? If, would like, you get value out of Melissa giving you a Spanish um, template script? or guideline? Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be dope. I think that would be dope too. Hell, Tyre already says yes. And if Tyre likes the idea, I like the idea. Oh, Ralph, Ralph likes it too. Be badass. <laughs> I okay. love it. All right. I'm Let's five minutes late to my next meeting. Oh, oh I yeah. have to go. But it's okay. I, you, you, Melissa, you work with me. You know how like my meetings from one thing bleed into the next all the time. That's just my life. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Guys, if you liked Melissa, if you liked what she did, what she taught us, do me a favor. Go shout out Melissa right now on Facebook. Tag her and tell her how awesome she is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to go. Bye, guys. All right.